The Grand Canyon is like a captivating Earth history book with its red rock layers. And now, it has just unveiled a groundbreaking secret. Join experts on a journey to uncover hidden mysteries and explore incredible recent discoveries that could reshape our understanding of this majestic canyon. Number 10. Some Weird Prehistoric Life Forms Found in the Grand Canyon Imagine this, a massive rock tumbles down a towering cliff in the Grand Canyon, revealing mysterious markings. Alan Krill, a geologist on a hiking trip, noticed something unusual, rock with marks that looked like footprints. Intrigued, he snapped some pictures and sent them to his friend, Stephen Rowland, a paleontologist. Rowland, known for his work in Carson City, confirmed Krill's find, ancient fossilized tracks. These footprints, dating back a whopping 313 million years, are the oldest evidence of vertebrate animals in the Grand Canyon. The tracks belonged to an amniote, a creature that lays hard-shelled eggs. But how did these footprints stay preserved for so long? The rock, weighing hundreds of pounds, fell from the Manacacha Formation, a massive outcropping of 314 million-year-old sandstone. The sand played a key role in preserving the footprints over millions of years. Roland's analysis revealed something fascinating. The markings showed two reptilian animals moving diagonally over the boulder. One of them was a foot long and had a unique sideways stepping pattern. While scientists wonder if the tracks are from two different reptiles or the same one at different times, Roland believes the sideways stepping pattern is common among four-legged vertebrates. Despite the excitement, some scientists find Roland's study controversial. Mark Nebel, a paleontology program manager at the Grand Canyon, pointed out disagreements within the scientific community about track interpretation and rock age. Regardless, Nebel praises Krill for the discovery, noting that many people passed by the rock without spotting these ancient footprints. Number 9. Grand Canyon Caves with Sloth Dung and Mummified Bats did you know that the Grand Canyon's towering cliffs hide mysterious caves within them? These caves, often varying in size, hold a treasure trove of remains from the Ice Age, offering a glimpse into the region's ancient past. Some caves are so narrow you'd need to crawl on all fours, while others are roomy enough to spin around without touching the walls. What's inside? Well, a whole ecosystem. Thanks to Arizona's dry climate, the bones of wood rats, bats, birds, and even long extinct mountain goats and sloths have been remarkably preserved. This dry preservation has allowed scientists to travel back in time, gaining insights into events that unfolded 40,000 years ago during the Ice Age. One notable cave, Rampart Cave, discovered in 1936 at the far western end of the canyon, sits at an elevation of 534 meters, or 0.534 kilometers. Inside, scientists found piles of dung resembling bowling balls, seemingly excreted recently. However, these dung piles turned out to be the work of a roughly 9-foot-long and 500-pound sloth that vanished over 10,000 years ago. Radiocarbon dating placed these droppings between 11 to 40,000 years old. Plant matter found in the feces provided details about the creature's diets and the regional flora, including globe mallow, Mormon tea, salt bush, cat claw cacti, reeds, and yucca. Wood rat dumps in neat piles served as tangible records of animals and plants undisturbed for thousands of years in the Grand Canyon. The cave also revealed the skulls of Harrington mountain goats, believed to have existed for at least 19,000 years. Paleontologist Chester Stock in the 1930s described them as smaller, short-haired versions of modern mountain goats. Mummified bats, including condors, were also discovered. These condors, exceptionally well-preserved, offered clues about their diet, suggesting they likely fed on now-extinct megafauna. Number 8. The Colorado River is almost dried the Colorado River, stretching about 1,450 miles from the Rocky Mountains in the southwestern United States, is almost dried up. This mighty river, famous for carving out stunning landscapes, including the iconic Grand Canyon, is facing a serious threat. The Colorado River winds its way through canyons, waterfalls, and lush wetlands, providing a lifeline for various activities like kayaking and canoeing at the Grand Canyon. However, scientists are sounding the alarm. Without immediate action, the river is in danger of drying up. The problem has been brewing for decades, but recent years have seen a critical tipping point. The major reservoirs along the river, crucial for maintaining its flow, have hit dangerously low levels. The culprit? Dams and water diversion projects in western states like Los Angeles, Phoenix, and San Diego. One notorious dam causing concern is the Glen Canyon Dam, 
built 50 years ago. While engineers might celebrate its ability to redirect the Colorado River, environmentalists argue it has posed a significant threat since its inception. The impact is evident at Lake Powell, the largest reservoir in the U.S. by water capacity. Its water levels are drastically below what they once were, putting the region's water supply at risk. Lake Powell, a man-made reservoir formed by the Glen Canyon Dam, was initially intended for hydropower. However, with water levels too low for power generation, urgent action is needed. If the situation persists, water won't flow down the river as needed, affecting the water supply for people in California, Arizona, Mexico, and Nevada. Environmental groups are calling on politicians to invest in reshaping the Glen Dam's plumbing system. An update to the dam could create sufficient room for water to flow into the Colorado River, securing the future of this vital water source. Time is of the essence. Let's act before we lose one of the world's natural wonders. Number 7. Uranium Deposit Found in the Grand Canyon In a twist of fate, breaking news echoes through the Grand Canyon revealing a discovery that challenges the very essence of this sacred land, a uranium deposit, a hidden treasure nestled within the geological embrace of the canyon, comes to light, casting shadows over the spiritual home of 11 Native American tribes. Picture this breathtaking landscape, revered for its cultural significance, now facing an unexpected threat from the depths of its own terrain. Deep within the intricate layers of sandstone, siltstone, and mudstone, uranium deposits lie concealed in geological formations known as breccia pipes. It's a revelation that not only uncovers a hidden chapter in the canyon's geological history, but also sparks concern about the delicate balance between preservation and progress. The journey into the Grand Canyon's uranium saga takes us back to the 1950s, a time when the hum of uranium mining operations like the Orphan Mine first resonated in the canyon's embrace. Fast forward to the present, and the stage is set for a new player, the Canyon Mine, now rebranded as Pinion Plain Mine, touted as the highest grade uranium mine in the US. As excitement around uranium peaks, companies flock to the region like eager prospectors in search of precious gold. Yet, not everyone is thrilled by the prospect of a uranium rush. In the mid-2000s, as uranium prices skyrocketed, a collective force emerged, a coalition of anglers, local governments, hunters, and native communities. Their mission, to shield the Grand Canyon from the impending wave of mining claims that threatened its natural integrity. Together, they achieved a milestone, a temporary mining ban in the canyon's vicinity, a shield forged to protect against the looming environmental perils. Zoom in, and the spotlight turns to the Havasupai tribe, dwelling deep within the canyon's embrace. Their connection to the land is not just spiritual, but practical, relying on spring-fed creeks for sustenance. The fear of potential pollution from Canyon Mine hangs heavy in the air, stirring concerns about the purity of their life-sustaining water source. In 2012, a ray of hope emerged. A 20-year ban on uranium mining was initiated, covering approximately 1 million acres of public land surrounding the Grand Canyon. However, hope in this tale is ephemeral as the band's expiration looms on the horizon. A check-in as of May 2022 reveals a daunting reality. Nearly 600 mining claims remain active, a testament to the persistent dance between conservation and corporate interests. The Grand Canyon, once a canvas for nature's artistry, now bears witness to a narrative that teeters on the edge of preservation and resource extraction. The saga unfolds, echoing through the canyon's red rocks, as a complex story of environmental stewardship, indigenous rights, and the ever-present tension between progress and protection. Number 6. The Mogollon Monster in the heart of the Mogollon Rim, a towering cliff stretching a formidable 2,000 feet from northern Yavapai County to the New Mexico border, a legendary creature has captured the imaginations of locals and adventure seekers alike. The Mogollon Monster, also known as Arizona's Bigfoot, traveled back to the early 1900s, precisely 1903, when the first chapter of this tale unfolded near the Grand Canyon. Ingvald Walter Stevens, an intrepid explorer, found himself face to face with an enigmatic beast, an ape-like creature that would later be dubbed the Mogollon Monster. Stevens painted a vivid picture, a large, hairy humanoid exhibiting immense strength and agility, navigating the rugged woods of the canyon with uncanny stealth. Fast forward to the mid-1940s, and the legend gains momentum through the accounts of Don Davis, a fervent cryptozoology enthusiast. Davis, on a Boy Scout trip near Payson, reported an encounter with a large, hairy creature. With expressionless eyes, a square-shaped face, and head, the creature left an indelible mark on Davis, 
solidifying his belief in the existence of the Mogollon monster. Anecdotal reports weave a captivating narrative of this elusive creature, standing over seven feet tall, walking upright, boasting formidable two-inch long claws and adorned in shaggy hair. Its distinctive feature, a pungent odor reminiscent of dead fish or rotting meat, adds an eerie layer to its mysterious aura. A creature of adaptation, the Mogollon monster mimics wildlife noises, creating an atmosphere of suspense and intrigue. In times of great peril, witnesses recount an otherworldly scream, echoing a woman's voice further shrouding the beast in mystery. Despite the compelling testimonies of Stevens and Davis, the scientific community remains skeptical. Many attribute these sightings to potential bluffs or misidentified grizzly bears. The existence of the Mogollon monster remains, to this day, a tantalizing mystery waiting to be unraveled. Number 5. Grand Canyon Luxury Suite Prepare to be amazed as we unveil the remarkable tale of a secret luxury suite nestled right in the heart of the Grand Canyon. Believe it or not, this hidden gem is no ordinary hotel room. It's a cavernous retreat, a jaw-dropping 220 feet below the surface, offering an experience like no other. Let's rewind the clock to the anxiety-ridden days of the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1961. President John F. Kennedy, grappling with the looming threat of potential bombings, conceptualized a haven for safety. Enter the grand idea an underground luxury suite equipped with essentials to sustain over 2,000 people for a month. The catch? The bombs never materialized, transforming these caves into an unparalleled tourist attraction within the Grand Canyon. Referred to as the world's quietest, darkest, and oldest hotel, this subterranean marvel unveils caverns and walls that trace back an astonishing 65 million years. The emergency rations stowed away in this unique space retained their freshness and usability for an incredible 40 years, all thanks to the naturally dry climate that blankets the Grand Canyon. Step into the suite, and you're greeted with cool amenities that transport you through time. Imagine a lounge area featuring a television for some entertainment, a record player to spin groovy tunes, snug beds for a comfortable night's rest, and even a library, all situated at 220 feet below ground. Yes, you read that right. Running water is part of the experience, brought down by hand due to the super dry conditions beneath the Earth's surface. Contrary to any top secret government hideout, this special suite takes the spotlight as one of the Grand Canyon's attractions. But before you get too excited, here's the scoop. To revel in this unique luxury, be prepared to loosen those purse strings. A night in this depth of history comes with a price tag of $900, offering an opportunity to immerse yourself in an environment where the walls echo stories from millions of years ago. So, if you're ready for a journey into the depths of the Grand Canyon's history, where each whispering wall holds secrets of the past, this underground luxury suite awaits, promising an experience that defies the ordinary. Number 4. The Terrifying Creation of the Grand Canyon Get ready for a captivating journey as we rewind the clock about 70 million years, where dinosaurs might have strolled around, and the Grand Canyon was still in its early stages of creation. Picture this, the late Cretaceous period, a time when the Grand Canyon stage was as flat as a pancake. But hold on to your hats, because the plot thickens. Enter tectonic activity and the rising of the Colorado Plateau lifting the land and setting the scene for something extraordinary. Fast forward about six million years, and here comes the Colorado River, ready to leave its mark on the landscape. It starts carving its way through the rising plateau with the finesse of a skilled sculptor, unveiling layers of rock and gradually forming the Grand Canyon as we know it today. The secret sauce in this geological recipe? The relentless erosion power of the Colorado River, tirelessly chiseling away at the landscape creating a masterpiece in the making. But this was followed by some climate changes over millions of years, acting like a master painter adding the finishing touches to the canvas. This dynamic combo has been at play, shaping the canyon walls into the breathtaking cliffs and slopes that never fail to leave us in awe. The Grand Canyon isn't just a static postcard-worthy view, it's a living masterpiece, continuously evolving under the skilled hands of nature. So the next time you find yourself gazing into the canyon's depths, don't just see it as a breathtaking view. Recognize that you're delving into the incredible story of Earth's geological past. The layers of rock beneath your feet whisper tales that span billions of years, proving that nature is, indeed, the ultimate artist, crafting a masterpiece that transcends time. Each layer tells a story, and each turn of the river adds a new chapter, making the Grand Canyon a living testament to the wonders of our planet's history. Number 3. 
the case of disappearing bodies. Step into the fascinating and perplexing realm of the Grand Canyon, where mysteries unfold and the unexpected takes center stage. It all began in 2021 with a puzzling case that revealed the mysterious disappearance and reappearance of bodies, leaving authorities and the public in awe and speculation. The story kicks off with the discovery of the body of a 45-year-old Hungarian man named Gabor Bercicomcanyi. His lifeless form was found about 430 feet below the rim at Yavapai Point, triggering a chain of events that would baffle investigators. Gabor's family had reported him missing to the Las Vegas police, setting off a search that eventually led authorities to his car and belongings at the park's visitor center. Little did they know, this discovery was just the tip of the iceberg. As the search unfolded, a shocking twist emerged. Not only was Gabor's body found, but another body surfaced in close proximity. This second body belonged to Scott Walsh, who had last been seen disembarking from a shuttle bus at the south rim of the park in 2015. Strangely, his body was cleverly positioned almost five kilometers away, blending seamlessly into the surroundings, making it nearly undetectable. The mystery deepened as investigators grappled with the question of why these bodies hadn't been discovered earlier. The answer lies in the unique geological history of the Grand Canyon, often described as a layer cake of rocks stacked neatly over millions of years. However, within the canyon lies a significant gap between rocks, concealing secrets that have remained hidden from human eyes for centuries. Recent discoveries have started to shed light on this mysterious space, offering explanations for the unexpected appearances of bodies. As the investigation continued, a large box-like structure was found within the canyon's gaps. The contents of this enigmatic box sparked curiosity, but fears and concerns prevented authorities from opening it. Speculations abound about what could be inside perhaps bodies buried by Native Americans, or secrets related to the legendary Mogollon monster. The Grand Canyon, with its layered history and hidden gaps, continues to be a tapestry of intrigue and fascination. As we navigate these stories of the unexpected, one can't help but wonder what other secrets lie concealed within the canyon's depths waiting to be unveiled. The journey into the heart of the Grand Canyon's mysteries is far from over, inviting us to explore the unknown and marvel at the wonders that defy explanation. Number 2. Tucson Ruins Discover the rich history of the Grand Canyon through the lens of the ancestral Puebloans, relatives of modern-day Hopi, Zuni, and other Puebloan tribes, whose roots run deep in this captivating landscape. The Tucson Ruins, located a few miles from the southern edge of the Grand Canyon, tell a story dating back to around 1185 AD, as revealed by data from the rings of juniper trees common in Puebloan dwellings. These ancient dwellings, with their agricultural fields, communal buildings, and religious structures, provide a glimpse into life 800 years ago. The Tucson Ruins feature a central plaza surrounded by storage rooms, living quarters, and kivas, ceremonial structures still used by modern Puebloans for religious ceremonies. The living quarters, constructed with rock and wood, include three or four main rooms, while storage rooms held dried food for harsh winter months. Despite challenges posed by the Kaibab limestone, which limited digging into the ground for kivas, archaeologists from Gila Pueblo in Globe, Arizona, excavated the site in the 1930s. Committed to preserving history, they promised to build a museum nearby. The result, the Tucson Museum, opened in 1932 seamlessly blending into the ancient settlement with its stone and wooden beams. The small museum, covering both archaeological and modern history, highlights the enduring connections of the five major tribes, Havasupai, Hopi, Holapai, Navajo, and Paiute, with the Grand Canyon. Exhibits showcase the strong historical ties, with a significant display of split-twig figurines dating back two to 4,000 years. While not found at the Tucson ruins, these figurines, collected from Grand Canyon caves, underscore the enduring presence of Native Americans in this remarkable landscape. Join us on this journey to explore the fascinating Tucson ruins and uncover the Grand Canyon's vibrant history. Number 1. Havasupi Tribe Meet the Havasupi people, the guardians of the Grand Canyon, residing primarily in Supai, a tributary canyon within this magnificent natural wonder. Despite being one of the smallest American Indian nations, their presence extends far beyond, reaching as far as Bill Williams Mountain to the south and the Little Colorado River to the east. Their unique way of life is intertwined with the vertical layers of the Grand Canyon, shifting with the seasons. During fall and winter, they inhabit the Colorado Plateau at the canyon's rim, engaging in hunting and gathering activities. 
and spring and summer, Havasupe families descend to cultivate the fertile Tonto platform, including Indian garden, growing crops like corn, beans, squash, melons, and pumpkins. Their architecture is distinctive, round-roofed shelters made with thatch, willow, and straight brush. At night, they position themselves facing east, believing it helps prevent nightmares. Living for thousands of years in the canyon, the Havasupi people had minimal contact with European explorers until 1776, when Spanish priest Francisco Garces visited Havasu Canyon. In the late 1880s, Euro-American newcomers explored the Indian Garden, discovering ancient irrigation ditches and farms set by the Puebloans, Havasupi, and ancient Hopi. The Santa Fe Railroad's opening in 1901 brought more attention to the Havasupi people, especially when President Theodore Roosevelt encountered them during his visit in 1903. Forced removals and reservations marked a challenging period for the Havasupi, but in 1975, President Gerald Ford returned 183,000 acres of Canyon Rim territory to the tribe. Today, their way of life revolves around tourism, farming, and wage labor, as they continue to be the guardians of the Grand Canyon, preserving their rich heritage for generations to come. Alrighty folks, that's a wrap for this video. We hope you find it informative and enjoyable. So, have you ever seen anything unusual at the Grand Canyon? Share in the comments below. Moreover, if you appreciate our content and wish to stay updated on our latest releases, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Your support means the world to us. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.